G'day guys, welcome back. I'm having a little experimenting day today. I've got my little locket puffy heart molds that I'm going to use and I'm going to do some sort of petri dish resin pours today. So I'm going to see what the difference between the Let's Resin inks and the Piñata inks are. So I've got similar colours, a white from each company and then I've got um, a dark blue, a sort of a teal and a light blue and then same here, a dark blue, a teal and um, a lighter blue. I think that's them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try that. Um, and because they're kind of a deepish mould, I want to see if I can get, you know, those lines, kind of like an eyeball kind of a look is what I'm going to try for. But um, in reality, I really don't know what I'm going to be able to get because I haven't used this mould for Petri's before. Um, I've only done, I think I've only used it once actually for a pendant. So I'm just going to pour some resin in here. It'll make it easier to pour into the molds. And um, I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus resin. Now I will link down below in my description uh, where you can get this resin and also there's a 10% off coupon code. So yay! I'm just going to fill them up halfway and then I'm going to give them a bit of a torch. So if you want to try any of the platinum resins, you can jump onto that website. Uh, they will be available in the US and Canada very soon. They're just setting up their warehouse at the moment. So I'll let you know anyway when I know. When the company tells me, I will tell you. Let's go torch that for bubbles because they are quite deep, as I said, these molds. They're actually 1.5 metres deep in the centre. They're, um, yeah, they're, they're rounded on the bottom. All right, let's put some more resin in. So I wasn't quite sure how much, I, I should just put some water in and, and see how much they actually hold, but I didn't. I'll leave a little bit of room for some ink. And hopefully I won't spill too much ink because ink does um, stain your mold. So what did I make up? I wrote it down. I always write things down so I know for next time. 125 grams of A and 55 grams of B is what I made up for my resin. So yeah, that's what I made. Um, but I thought I'll, I'll make up extra because I've got another mould here that... Um, I wouldn't mind using, trying out, if um, if I've got anything left. Now I'm just going to, whoops, knock everything over. I'm just going to get a little stick and push the resin up just into the little, little whatever it's called, <laughs> a little bale. I guess it's a little bale. This mold's great because it's got the bale built in. You don't have to attach any hardware. Um, you can just thread your chain or your leather or your bit of suede or whatever you want to use. You can just thread it right through the pendant and off you go. So yeah, I've put a little bit in each. So when I put the, um, the ink in, Obviously, that will displace and it'll get fuller. Is fuller a word? More full? Let's torch again for the bubbles. I'm only using a little tiny torch. It's only a little, tiny little flame come out and I'm just torching in the centre there. I'm not getting near my mould because too much heat will fuse, will actually fuse the resin to the silicone. So you don't want to do that. Do you? Now let me just make sure how much I've got. This one could do with a little bit more. I don't want to fill them up too much because obviously I need some room for the ink. But then um, I don't want them to be 
too empty either. Mm, that'll do. That'll do. Now I've got some left. Another little torch. It's pretty low bubble, this particular resin. Um, what will I do? Oh, I just don't know if I should leave that in there. Anyway, let's. we'll just leave it in there for now. Actually, let me split it. I'll just put some in this cup because it's already got resin in it. I'm always worried about leaving a, you know, a, like a deep, deepish cup of resin because it sets up much faster um, if it's deep. So you're better off having like a couple of smaller, shallower containers. All right. Um, right. So first thing I want to do is... Do I need to shake them? I don't know. So this will be the pinata ones and that'll be the Let's Resin ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I don't know if I want colour up there. I might just leave the little bales without colour. I'm going to put some white across the top. Might as well leave the lids off, hey? Oh, I haven't even opened that one yet. My gosh. I must have one that's open. Mm. I have some way. I just don't know where it is. I'm just going to use one of these little duvalackies. Make sure you've got gloves on. It's not it's not bad going in, but then when you pull the stick out, even if you do it gently, it sprays everywhere. It gets all over you. So just be careful. Now I'm using the Sea Deeper as opposed to the Sinker White. Okay? I'm using the Sea Deeper. I'm just going to... Oh, gosh. Make a bigger hole, I think. sprayed everywhere. All right, let's put some over the top of, oh, they're not as easy to um, squeeze these bottles. You give it a squeeze and you get like a whole spurt coming out. The, the plastic's harder, I find it harder to um, to squeeze these Let's Resin little bottles. Yeah, I made the hole a bit bigger. Put the little pointy thing in and just jiggled it around a bit. Oh, I don't know, it's just, is it just me? Like now I can't get anything out. Oh gosh. I might actually put, I won't do it now, but I might put my white into another bottle like it's it's not coming out very well all right so I'm going to use a stick for you and then a stick for you so what I want to do is I just want to basically just move that around a little bit just want to get it sort of covering the top Like so. Okay, I don't know what this one's problem is. Now I can't get anything. It's squirting out on a, a strange angle. Oh, come on, bottle. I don't have time for your games. I don't. Right, uh, let's start dropping some colour on, hey? Otherwise I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Why doesn't my ink want to come out today? Oh, gosh. I'm just... Goodness me. They might, do they must get clogged or something if you don't use them. Oh, really? <clears throat> oh, gosh. Oh, 
<laughs> uh, I should stick to acrylic pouring. It is not coming out. Okay, so there's some blue. And this is the teal. Oh, it's working okay. And then this one is the Baja blue. The darker blue is the sapphire. This is the Baja. Baja. -ha. Oh no, I got it on my mold. Quick, wipe it off before it stains. I'll try and keep my mold clean. If I spill any, <laughs> I'll get it off straight away. All right, now you need a little bit more of this. Actually, you haven't got any of that one, have you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm working in a confined area here, small little area. All right, let's clean that off. Now, a little bit more of the, the sapphire, if it will. The sapphire and the um, Baja are, are pretty similar by the looks of them. Now, this one is Midnight Blue. I'll put that on. Putting four on. I'm trying to, but it doesn't, like I said, doesn't come out all that easily. It's a much darker blue, isn't it, that one? It's very bright. Okay, this one is Cerulean. four of you as well and then the white's already starting to pull away from the the side maybe I shouldn't shake it maybe it's just getting like bubbles in it and then this one's a like a bright blue what you called azure Yeah, if I squeeze, I'm getting like a, a whole squirt out instead of just a drop. All right, now let's cover them with some white. Just randomly putting white over the tops. Okay, so that's that one, and now the Let's Resin. Keen to see what the difference is. Whoops, that was a squirt. Probably could have filled them up a little bit more, but just wasn't sure how much room the ink was going to take up. But I guess it doesn't take up a lot, does it? Next time, if I do it again, I'll put more in. Okay, another round of colour. Here we go. With the sapphire blue. And then the teal. And the Baja. Trying to, oh, <laughs> nearly went into the wrong one. Okay, uh, so you're done. Here we go. Now, the Let's Resin Midnight Blue. And the Cerulean. And 
the lips resin doesn't seem to be like spreading as far like I've got quite a bit of clear spots in some of these which I don't have with the pinata for some reason I have to go back and try and fill in all my little gaps whoops with a spray again I wonder if it's too late to put some more resin in. It's filling in my little gaps there on the side. I wonder if it's too late to put a little bit more in, in just in these. Into my little bales. I wouldn't mind them just being clear. Although these ones I've already got colour in them. The piñata seems to be spreading more so. Oops, there we go. I think the other one's got a little bit more resin in them. Whoops, <laughs> I hope I haven't overdone it now. Oops, making a mess. Doing lots of oopsies today, aren't I? Okay, uh, now <clears throat> another, I'm going to finish it off with some white over the top. So starting with white, then a layer of white, and then I'm going to finish it with white. I don't know whether that's a good oh, idea or not, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. White over the top. Yeah, the piñata seems to be spreading more because it's gone up into those little bales. Okay, now the Let's Resin White it does act differently, doesn't it? When you put the white on top, it looks different. Oh, that's squirted. Well, she wouldn't do that. Does anyone else have trouble with these little bottles or is it just me? So you don't get a drop so I squirt it and then like 10 drops come out because I'm squirting it. I think I might put it into another little bottle that's got a nozzle thingy in it. See I'm squeezing that and there's nothing coming out. I'm squeezing it really hard over here. And I got something out. It's just, oh, look at that. It's just frustrating. I'm probably going to get, it's not going to work the way I wanted it to work now because I've got like 10 drops just come through then. Come on, bottle. What is wrong with you? It's very frustrating. Am I the only one <laughs> that has trouble with them? Oh, now it works again. Maybe they just get clogged up really easily. I'm going to put the little nail thing back in it. Yep, so it stopped again. If you have any ideas, let me know. It's very frustrating. <laughs> probably, probably not going to work now because it's got so much white in there where it's not supposed to. All right. Well, so that's the pinata. It's looking a lot more different than this one is. Now, I'm not going to torch. Because if I torch now, I'm probably going to have a flambe because of the um, alcohol in it. But I do want to try. I'm just going to move these out of the way for a sec. I'm going to use the I'm going to use the Let's Resin, and I'm just going to try. Actually, depending on what I've got, look, I've got this. I've got this little mold here. I've got some resin left over. These are really deep. But I don't want to fill it up all the way because it might be too much. Actually, I've got enough for both. Let's do, we can do an experiment on both. I can do the Let's Resin and the Pinata because I've got enough. I've still got some left in here. 
So <clears throat> filling them about halfway, I guess. I think anything more, and um, I think this resin will just set up too quickly. It's not a, a like a deep cast resin. I find if I make them thick, they go off really, really quickly. So let's start. Cover that with some white, like we did before. Cover that with some white. Actually, I don't need to stir it. That doesn't seem to be as, as much. Okay, and then um, I'll just drop some just drop some colour randomly in there, one layer. And then some of the other blue. And the teal. Let's give it a nice covering of ink. Oh. Now what did I do first? Oh, no, it must, mustn't have been the midnight. This is the midnight one. It's quite, it's quite a lot darker. I should actually be spacing my colours rather than just mixing them. All right, here we go with the white. I'm just shaking it. It's just, oh, yeah, it's just coming out however it wants to. It's not really listening to me. It's doing its own thing. Covering of white and... This one doesn't want to work either now. They just get blocked up. Is that the problem? It's very frustrating. <laughs> and the other blue. Just going to cover the top again. And cover the top with this one. the darker around the edge there and then this lighter one can go through the center okay and some actually maybe a little bit more probably hasn't got as much as the neighbor there and we'll just cover that with the white and this is our third layer of white isn't it hopefully it's not in like too much white I don't, I don't know because normally you I've seen other people and they put the color down first then the white then the color then the white and I've sort of done it the other way I've got white and then color and then white and then color and then white so we'll see okay that's it that's all I'm doing so um, I guess we'll I'll come back and um, I'll unmold them you only just saw that, didn't you? I should have. I should have checked. Um, see if you were seeing what I'm seeing. All right. So this is the Let's resin. And this is the pinata. And then that's the pinata. And that's the Let's resin. So, um, yeah, I'll come back when it's time to unmold. Probably won't better do it till tomorrow morning now. So, yeah, interesting to see what it looks like. See you soon. Good morning, I'm back. Well, morning for me anyway. Now, I'll just turn these around to face me. So, these, these are the lighter ones. These are the pinatas and the darker ones. Uh, the Let's Resin. Now I wonder if they're darker because the colour, the white has sunk more. Those two are in there. Right, let's do this. Let's start over here. I wonder if they've worked. Even if they're blobby, which I think they probably will be, even if they're blobby, I think they'll still be pretty, hey? So ease that over its little 
little nib there. See, you've already got a ready-made little hanger. <laughs> right, are we ready? One, two, <laughs> three. Oh, oh, there's a big white blob there. I don't like the big white blob. Hey, look, we've got those little um, little tiny effects. I was hoping it would do more of this. See this big, these big long ones? I was hoping it would sort of do that all the way through. The little mushrooms on the end. Huh. Okay, yeah, apart from that, I don't like that one. Let's see how this one went. I've still got the big white blob. I wonder if that's because I put white down first. I was after these long tendril things. I'll have to try again, won't I? <clears throat> Maybe not put the white down first. Because the rest of it I like. Sorry for reaching across. <clears throat> Here we go. And this one. Oh, more blobs. Oh. I would have been happy with them without those blobs on the top. Because the rest of it I really like. It's like a little little alien world in there, isn't it? And the top's nice too. Just don't like those blobs. Never mind. I'll keep experimenting. Petries are pretty new to me, so <laughs> everything's new to me. I'll, I'll keep trying. Oh, same again. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I would have been, like I said, I would have been happy with them without those blobs. So I don't know if that was the initial white I put down or if it was, you know, from me dropping the colours afterwards. There we go. I, I like the colour scheme though. They look, I mean, it looks more blue to you, but it's actually kind of more aqua. More aqua. Right, let's try the Let's Resin. Definitely less white on top. Are we ready? One, two, three. I've got no white blobs. I've got no tendrils. But I've got no white blobs. That wasn't what I was going for. I was going for all the little white, all the little tendrils on the sides. I obviously haven't put enough ink in. But look, it's really pretty. <laughs> wow. That's really pretty. Colours are much darker. So we've got teal up here. I know it looks more blue, but it's actually a nice aqua down, down there. And we've got the navy on this side and then the lighter blue in the middle. I'd wear that. It's really pretty. I guess this, they're all going to be the same now, aren't they? Oh, that one's got a little bit of white there. That's probably where my white spurted out. Oh, look what I did. I put my white into here. So that I hopefully won't have another problem with the dropping the white out. Because, yeah, I, I, that's probably where it, um, where, this one, it's probably where it, the white squirted out when I was trying to get a drop. And I squeezed it and it went, Psh. Did you like it? <laughs> All right, here we go. But yeah, I'd wear those. I'll put these, even though, you know, they're maybe not that one, but um, I'll pop them in with my little, my orders. When people order a mould and I just put a little trinket in, I'll pop them in some of the orders. It's really pretty. It's nice just not having to swirl them either, isn't it? Just having a nice little, nice little pattern there. That one's pretty too. Okay, so I'm happy with these. Totally different effect from the pinata, obviously. The pinata started to drop. They've both got the little featherings in the centre, but the pinata started to drop. But the um, let's resin hasn't really. 
Maybe I just needed more colour. I actually really like these, especially with the, the black. It's what looks black on the handles. All right, um, let's move these out of the way for a minute. And I'll get to the two big ones. We'll just go there for a minute. Okay, so same again. This The lighter one is the um, <clears throat> pinata. Not quite as easy to get out, I guess. Oh no, it's coming out. Pop that back. It's a little bit soft on the the top still. I guess it's because the alcohol inks were on the top. Um and you know they're not inside the resin, so they're just sitting on top. It might be a good idea to top coat top coat them with um the same there they're a bit soft they probably need a top coat with resin because that you just got alcohol ink sitting on top so it can sometimes feel a little bit soft or a little bit sticky but anyway once i work out what's going to work then i can put top coats on are we ready one two three ah oh, that's what i wanted but not with, without the little blobs. Oh, what? that's exactly what I wanted. Look at that. Just without those little blobs. So now I have to work out once again, was that from the white I put down first? Or maybe I should just go with the colour straight away. And then the white. Oh, it's so pretty. Reminds me of jellyfish. And again, I probably didn't put down as much colour as I should, could have because you can kind of see through there. Where there's not a mass, not enough colour. Oh wow, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Again, it looks blue through the screen, but it's not. It's more of an aqua colour. I'll change the colour when I put it up on the... I'll take a photo so that you can see the true colour, because it's more aqua. <gasps> Love it! Now, I wonder if this one's going to work, because these didn't. <laughs> I'm going to have my coffee. I was so excited to come out, I haven't even stopped to have my coffee yet. So I only filled these halfway because I mean I only had you know not much resin left over and also like I said the resin you know, I was using sets up pretty quick so it goes hot so I didn't want to make it too deep. That one doesn't feel as sticky as the pinata did. All right here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear okay there's nothing there i would have thought that that c white uh what is it not that one c deeper would have worked better wow okay well we've got a little blue dome there's some you know there's some tiny little um uh, there's not even any not really, there's hardly any sort of interest going on in that one. So I'd say that's a fail. So I prefer, I prefer these. I prefer these ones, these hearts. I think they're really pretty. Only because these ones have got the blobs. I don't know, you tell me. Maybe I didn't put enough ink in because this is what I wanted. In the heart so I'll try again I won't use the let's resin because now I know that you know I'm gonna get these results this is what I want I want to get these results and I know I can get it from the pinata so I'll have another go uh, with the pinatas and see if I can improve on this just not quite sure how to do it without getting the, the blobs I'll try again without putting the white down first I'll just go with color um, and see if maybe I can get a better effect that way. But there they are. Yep, happy with those. Happy with my little experiment. Because I like these. I'd wear those. Would you guys wear those? I would wear those. Pretty, pretty. All right. Thanks for watching. And um, stay tuned. I'll be doing, I'll be using the pinatas again. And trying to get this effect in the hearts. And I might even do some more of these. You could just use them as paperweights, really. 
<laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what people would do with them. All right. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.